There is a lot going on in the crypto and blockchain space. 2021 is a year where a major shift has happened in the way how we see cryptos and blockchain products, from looking at them with financial use case lens to virtual world perspectives. It is fair to say that Facebook's announcement of Meta and its efforts in creating Metaverse, similar to the ones that Visa in the movie Ready Player One, has significantly boosted this shift. While we haven't even scratched the surface of the Metaverse and its untested applications, NFTs are creating waves in the mainstream artwork. Nike, Adidas, NBA, Disney has already started testing the waters of NFTs. To understand the NFTs technically better, we need to understand how blockchain and Web 3.0 works. I will save these topics for another video, but in this video, I'll take a shot at explaining NFTs in plain, simple terms. NFTs stand for non-fungible token. Let's break it down and figure out first what fungibility is. By definition, fungibility is the ability of an asset to be exchanged or substituted with a similar asset of the same value. The opposite of fungibility is the fundamental of the NFT, meaning you cannot substitute an asset with a similar asset. This brings up the concept of rarity Anything which is available in less numbers are obviously usually expensive to acquire. For example, the famous Mona Lisa portrait at Louvre Museum is non-fungible, and there is no other asset which is similar and has the same value. NFTs are powered by blockchain and can only exist digitally within a blockchain, meaning each NFT will have a unique address, and each time it is transferred between two entities, the transaction will be recorded in a blockchain and can never be altered. This feature is called immutability, which is one of the fundamentals of blockchain. If you're an artist or a collector, you can make, sell, or buy these NFTs, which are all, where all your transactions will be recorded in the blockchain. From whom you bought, for how much you bought it for, thereby you can prove the authenticity and the ownership of NFT. You might be asking by now that you can simply go online and download these images for free. Yes, you can totally do that, but that action is equivalent to buying a Mona Lisa portrait from Amazon, which exactly looks the one, like the one in the Louvre Museum, but has almost no value when you compare it with the real Mona Lisa portrait. Remember the untested applications I briefly mentioned before in the Metaverse? Other projects like Decentraland, Sandbox Game, etc., are also working along the same lines where they are creating these virtual worlds in which you can buy land, buy virtual real estates, and place your NFTs and collectibles for various commercial reasons and purposes. Since all these virtual worlds are powered by blockchain, you can only place your NFTs into these metaverses if you are the real owner of that particular NFT or any other collectible that you have. A simpler explanation would be, we buy Fortnite skins to be used in the game but we cannot use these skins in a real world. Just apply the same logic into the NFT. In fact, some games as of today are selling these skins and rare items in the form of NFTs where you can use them in the game. Well, I hope this video gave you some understanding of NFTs. In my future videos, I'll try to show you how and where you can buy and sell NFTs. And I'll try to get into some more technical in my future videos as well. I put a lot of effort in understanding these things and explaining them in plain, simple terms. So I would, it would be really, really encouraging to me if you consider subscribing my channel. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in another video. Until then, have a good one.